We're going to have a Benchy print-off between the Quiddy Tech X Mark III over there on the left and the Quiddy Tech X Max III over on the right. These two printers are boasting between 500 and 600 millimeters a second printing speeds. And today what we're going to do is just print the Benchy that came with the files on the printers. We're going to use standard Quiddy Tech PLA filament. We're going to hit play and see which one of these prints faster. Let's get this test going. All right, guys, here we go with our test. Let's go ahead and hit the 3D Benchy code over here on the Quiddy Tech X Smart. We're going to go over here and do the same thing. It's that one right there. We're going to get rid of bed leveling on both of those. And here we go. Let's hit print. And it's going to ask me a question there on both of them. All right, guys, let's see if I can get that door just right so it's kind of out of the shot. We'll do some time lapse on that and show you what the results are at the end of the print. Now the timer on both printers both say it's going to take 17 minutes to complete the print. Let's see how accurate that is. Okay, so we're a few minutes in. Let's take a look at the progress. This is the X-Max 3. Looks like we got 12 minutes left. You can see the difference between the outside layer speed and the inside fill material speeds. Let's go over and take a look at the X Smart 3. See how well we're doing here. And it says we have 12 minutes left. All right, let's see what they look like at the end. Let's go ahead and grab the camera and we'll zoom in a little closer. Let's see what they look like as they finish up here. And we'll see which one finishes first. Alright, so here we go. Let's look at the X Max 3. Starting to print the chimney. Let's go down here and look at the X Smart 3. Alright, we're just a little bit behind the X Max. Little Benchy sure looks nice. We're coming up on a 16 minute print time so far. Alright, here we go. Looks like the X-Max 3 is definitely going to finish first. Printing the very last of the top of the little chimney. Oh, that little X Smart 3 is catching up pretty quickly on the chimney there. They were started only a few seconds apart from each other, so. Oh, there we go. The X Max 3 finishes first. Let's see how many seconds behind the X Smart is. Look at this little benchy we've got there. Looks very nice. I don't see any flaws in it. Alright, come on, little X Smart. And there we go. Well, that was enough time between them that it was probably the same amount of time as it took me to get the buttons pushed and get everything started. So for the most part, I'm pretty sure they both printed almost exactly the same speed. Let's look up here at the timer. 17 minute Benchy. Let's look over here. 17 minute Benchy. All right, let's pull that off the tray. Take a look at that. Uh, look how nicely you can read the bottom. And make out some of the letters here on the back of the boat. Wow, that looks nice. Chimney looks nice. Alright, let's take a look at the X Max 3. Take a look at the bottom real quick here. Alright, let's take a look at the back. And I can actually make out some of these letters. I don't know how well the camera's going to pick that up, but I can make those out pretty good. Well, let's take a look at the rest of this here. Let's see how well it did. Well, those arches look really nice. And we got one little string hanging down right there. Oh yeah, that looks nice. Look at the chimney all looks nice. There's no warping in it whatsoever. Well, folks, there you go. There was a test between the X Max 3 and the X Smart 3 to see if there was any difference in print speed. Obviously one of the big differences between the two printers is an incredible difference between the print volume that you're going to get when you buy the X-Max 3.